Okay, so a couple of days ago we read this book, um, McCorn and the McCorn and His Hidden Spots by Laura Seeley. Um, so today I just wanted to discuss um, the reasons why I read this book. Um, well, for one, if you are a teacher or whatever and you want to teach children about rhyming words, this book has a lot of rhyming words. It also has a great message behind it um, about humility. Like, um, you know, um, corn wanted to be the only Dalmatian, the only animal with spots, the only thing with spots. And he had to realize that there's other things out there that have spots. There's other things out there that he, there's other things in the world that are going to get attention. He's not going to be the most perfect thing. You just got to do the best you can and you don't. And in the end here, this little sentence here at the end. <clears throat> the stuff in the stack, well, he took it all back. Hiding spots was no longer much fun. With more heart and less pride, he felt better inside, knowing spot wars could never be won. So, he began to realize that it's not really what's on the outside that matters. It's more of what's on the inside. So, you have to have heart in things you do and not be so prideful with what you're doing. But, throughout the story... He progresses in to realize that. Um, she says, He felt strange underneath, even ugly beneath all his thoughts. And his thoughts became scattered. Underneath he felt bad. Underneath he felt sad. Could the underneath part be what mattered? So it's, he's, real, he's realizing that it's not what's on the outside that matters, but what's on the inside. And that hiding all the things with spots, and not wanting anything to have spots wasn't really a very nice thing to do. And it's just a really great story, and I think that everyone should read it to their kids. Um, I just want to take a look at some of the artwork. I just want to take a look at some of the artwork that's in this book because it's really great artwork. I love it. Here is the cover. I got this little... Um, little um note postcard i don't know what it's called whenever i was whenever i got the book anyways this is the cover what i don't know if i showed this picture but here's this little picture i think that's in the book as well though it's the signed copy of it what i really want to show i'm just gonna go through here really quickly um what I really like is this little, the bird that only comes into play at the very end of the story. Um, but I l really love this artwork right here. I, I think that's my favorite in this book. But I mean, all the artwork is great. But I think the little bird, see, it's not on every page, but it's just kind of like a little hidden thing that you might not really even notice until the very end. But it is really great artwork. I'm definitely going to hold on to this book. It has a great message in it. And especially, um, I do some work with kids. So the rhyming in it, I can't turn the page. The rhyming in it is definitely something. I think I skipped the page. But it was stuck, so. Um... The rhyming words are definite plus if you're, um, I don't, I don't really know what age, what grade you are in that you learn rhyming words. It's one of the lower ones, I believe. Look, this is, this is great. I love this. All the little spotted things. I mean, I really wish I could do some more work like this. Of the camera. I this when I saw this, I was like, "Oh my gosh, I love it!" Just like it's been trapped here in this little 
little bar and it slowly got color here and then it breaks free I don't know what the dogs are barking at but they're driving me insane and then you see that they use the string for its nest overall a really great book you should give it a read especially if you have kids because they will love it it is wonderful so See you next week. Bye.